Nagi Oya G here to talk to you about some of the new bonuses that we've been getting and the difficult choices that we've been having to deal with. One of them being the choice of who to pick for the All Star Super Mission 1. One thing to note is that it says it's All Star Super Mission 1, insinuating that we might have uh, Super Mission 2. But I think you should really, really choose your character very carefully just in case it's a different set or even if it's not so thinking about these characters i think that everyone should think about well three things you've got three things to choose from first one do you want a strong pvp character for championship mode two do you want someone to help you with quests or three do you just want a pretty waifu or husbando whatever let's go through the options so number one, if you're looking for championship mode and you're, you know, you're, you're having trouble against purple characters like Geese, Ignis, uh, Orochi, um, to tell you the truth, I think none of these characters are going to help you. Apart from perhaps Halloween Party Cooler. And that is a matter of luck. Once you fully buff her out, she's going to have, well, she's already got it, but fully buffed, she's going to have more chance to actually take advantage of that freeze. She's got a random freeze that's going to attack the opponent, or even when they attack you, much like Mukai, Orochi, uh, Advent, False Advent Orochi, um, Shanfei, um, and I think there's another one. But the point is, it's random. So you just don't know when it's going to happen, and she's still not that strong. Apart from that, um, I think the dangerous characters uh well you know if you want a strong yori there's one right here apparently some people say he's the strongest of yori at the moment uh yuri in wonderland has some super armor and some chill as well on her attacks on her projectile in fact so she's quite good as an attacker um and if you magically have a six star one of the new six star cards you could give yourself atina um making her the strongest Athena that there is. Simple as that. But um, yeah, apart from her like fireballs and things, um, she has um, uh, yeah, there's just some random stuff, but it's like, I don't really see any, you know, hyper immunity, uh, damage immunity, hyper armor, super armor. You know, you know, people say Vanessa's good as well, and I'm like, yeah. She's got a random stun. She's got one second. I think that's going to increase, to be honest. I think it's not. That's not the full. Uh, yeah, that's not the full, the full profile for 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 Vanessa. So she's going to get super armor. She's also going to get a random stun, right? And that one, what makes her different? Her her. That's what makes her dangerous. It's the random stun. So if she gets a stun on you, then whoa, you're in a lot of trouble. But otherwise, again, it's, it's it's all it's all chances. So I'm not really I'm not really gonna b place my bets on any of these characters just sticking around. I mean, Halloween Cooler was around in the beginning, and now she's gone. You won't really see her apart from people who are winning her right now. So yeah, let's move on to part two. Part two is thinking about which characters are going to help you in terms of the story. Now I think first of all. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Halloween Party Sherman because she's awesome. Um, she was my buffer, and I mean, as in, she gave me the wonderful attack up. And it's, I think it was about 14%. I know it just says 12, but again, I think this is this is from the level one. But she gives you about 12, a uh, 14% attack up, and that came in very, very handy for a t for for um, some of the story modes. But saying that, since then, of course, I noticed Rugal 94 has a better one, or maybe the same. Vanessa has more or less the equivalent of 20% buff and of course Epic uh, Epic Saishu um, is also quite awesome as well because what makes Vanessa even better than her is that Vanessa attacks at the same time so you get the damage plus the buff up and attack uh, def defense down on, on the opponent. Now Halloween Party Shermi, uh, Shermi sorry still on the brain, Halloween Party Angel looks like a very awesome poison character and i hope that she would be good against the the new um inferno chizuru but i didn't get to buff her out completely so i don't know if she's actually that good and speaking of chizuru i'm going to go straight to them before i forget lady yashira was definitely good because of her shock damage so if you want someone and if you're thinking about 
how to beat that Chizuru. She will, I'm pretty sure she'll be back. I'm pretty sure those Inferno bosses are on rotation. So you might well want to invest in her. Right. And another character I didn't get to try out, but I'm quite confident will do well against Chizuru is Swimsuit Cooler because she has the best chill damage of all the coolers. The other coolers have got like random freeze, which is good, but this has the chill damage, which is kind of ironic because she's Swimsuit, swimsuit Summer Cooler. You're like, well, okay, fine. K Dash is also probably the best K Dash there is. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, ah! This one, Swimsuit Mine. If you're having trouble with Epic uh, Saishu, this character is going to help a lot because she gives you the immunity to fire. And that, of course, is you know one of the main problems of Saishu. So if you get that, it's going to give you uh, a lot of help. On the other hand, if you just grind enough, and you get strong enough, you don't care about the fire anymore. So if you've got great levels in Epic Quest, then you don't need to worry about it and you can save yourself the ticket for somebody else. Now, as we said, the six star cards that are available right now are Kyo, uh, Terry, Ryo, Mai and Blue Mary. But I've never seen anybody use Halloween, uh, Halloween Valentine's Blue Mary. She gets super armor after using a real backdrop. To be honest, you're going to need at least five seconds. Let me just go run over here because the codex got a better, better overview of these characters. Um, and I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Fire Codex. We run over here. And... <laughs> Where are you? Don't crash. Don't crash on me. Uh, there we are. Check the profile. Three seconds. Really, you're going to need about four or five to make full use of having super armor after you stand up. It's pointless otherwise, unless they haven't been knocked over. Um, so looking at the other skills, it's like meh. No, again, no, you know, no, no, no hyper immunity. No, no, nothing. It's just, she's just a fighter. That's it. So she gets one super armor after getting a, a grab move. So meh. So yeah, I don't, I don't really recommend that one. So as we were saying, right? Yo. So basically, I think if you're looking for strikers uh, or support, leader supports, um, you need to really have a look around. Oh, don't forget, uh, Chang, of course, has great relation with Choi, as always. And if you don't have Robert, King, and uh, Yuri, for your gold team, you need to have a gold team. Then you could put Santa Rudolph. I think they've got the best, uh, the best um, gold gain. In fact, I think in the game so far. So, do you want the money? That's the question. Do you want the money or do you want the waifu? I don't know, but that's a choice you're going to have to make on your own. But yeah, the rest of them, I'm like, Wee. Yuri in Wonderland, great fire, as I think I've already said. Keep seeing that. Uh, but. Um, let me just check something. I think she has something. Um, uh, she increases burn damage. So yeah, I'm I'm not really I'm not really seeing much really. Leader skill burn damage by forty percent. You know, there's going to be at some point there's going to be a boss that's vulnerable to burn. But considering that you have Kyo, you have Chris, you have Yuri, you have all these characters that do burn, I can't really imagine that you're going to need this but that's one of the things again you might want to think about look at your inventory of characters look at all the skills and leadership things that they have and then you see what kind of uh thing that you're lacking and that's what i think you should be picking of course if you just want a hot waifu well i think the the choices are actually going to be quite difficult aren't they um swimsuit swimsuit k dash is also the best k dash there is at the moment i think and he has great abs and um, I'm gonna overlook Andy and uh, Geese and just shout outs to very very bizarre relations that they're definitely not related okay we know that we just just stop stop don't talk about it don't need to know don't need to know about that okay fine right good so as I said best waifu right there my friends that's it done end of discussion but if you'd like to continue don't forget to leave a comment 
and give us a like so we can continue making content. Otherwise, yeah, I'm going to just retire and write books. <coughs> All right, this is Gunny, or rather the Oya G from orochinagi.com. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. And we'll see you next time.